Edmonton Oilers beat the Detroit Red Wings 8-4 in Edmonton on Tuesday, February 13th. Connor McDavid had six assists, a single game career high. He also passed the 600 assist mark. Villiuso started in net for Detroit. Jeff Skinner started for Edmonton. Shots were 6-5 in favor of the Oilers through eight and a half minutes in the first period. That's when the Oilers scored their first goal of the game. Puck in front of the Detroit net. Comfer has it and tries to clear it high on the glass. The puck is kept in by CC, who feeds it to Dreisaitl. A centering pass misses Kane, and Nurse gets the puck along the left boards. Nurse slings the puck back around the end boards for Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl carries the puck to the point from the slot. Snapshot. Scores. Leon Dreisaitl, with his 25th goal of the season, puts the Oilers up 1-0, just under 9 minutes into the first period. Billy Uso got injured on the Dreisaitl goal as he dropped down to make the save. Alex the Lion came in as the new goalie. Less than three minutes after the first goal, the Oilers struck again. Nugent Hopkins to make David behind the goal line. Then the puck back along the boards to Nurse at the point. Cross ice a pass for Cece. Cece fires a shot. Scores. Off the skate of Cider and through Lions Bible. The Oilers take a 2 0 lead. Good job. 
with a snapshot, and the Oilers lead 3-1. That was Evan Bouchard's 12th goal of the season, which ties a career high. A minute after the Bouchard goal, the Red Wings went back on the power play, with Lucas Raymond drawing a tripping foul from Sam Gagne. Once again, the Detroit power play scored. This time, it was Joe Valeno. It's Valeno and Ryan in the left face-off circle. Buck is dropped, and it's won by Valeno. Sider with the puck at the point. Passes down low to the goal line. Sprong to the brink end. Back to Sprong. Carries it to the net. The shot is saved by Lyon. Sprong has the rebound in front of the net. Another bad save for Lyon. Valeno gets the rebound. Scores. Power play goal for Joe Valeno. That was the 10th goal of the season for Joe Valeno. A career high for the 24-year-old. The Red Wings are now trailed by one. And it was Patrick Kane, the three-time Stanley Cup winner, who would tie the game with five and a half minutes remaining in the second period. from behind the Oilers' school line. Passes to Nugent Hopkins. But I'm in skate, clips Nugent Hopkins' stick, and the puck gets loose. Perron to Kane. Kane flips the puck into traffic in the slot. Comfort to Perron to Kane. Scores. And this game is tied at three. It was a really unfortunate incident for the Oilers. Hyman underestimated how much space he had between Nugent Hopkins and the right boards and skated into Nugent Hopkins' stick, resulting in the change of possession and giving the Red Wings an opportunity to tie the game. The second period ended with the teams tied at three. The Oilers would go on to score five goals in the third period, beginning with this one from Dylan Holloway. Sider with the puck at the Detroit end. McDavid is with him. And there's a takeaway by McDavid at the goal line. McDavid finds Bouchard in the slot. Bouchard's shot goes off the shoulder of Lyon in front of the net. Diving for the puck is Holloway. And backhands it into the net. Scores. Dylan Holloway's third goal of the season came from an all-out effort. Holloway dove to the ice in order to beat Alex to bring Cat to the puck and knock it into the open net. And in the process, Holloway's momentum took him into McDavid, taking out McDavid's legs. Luckily, neither Holloway nor McDavid injured themselves on the play. The Oilers led 4-3, and they continued to add on. Less
less than three minutes later, Newton Hopkins scored what would be the game-winning goal. The puck is sent down to the Oilers' zone. Bouchard beats the breakhead to the puck and finds McDavid at the blue line. To Nugent Hopkins, the Oilers have a two on two. Nugent Hopkins skates into the slot with the puck, shoots, scores. And that's assist number 600 for Connor McDavid. With nine and a half minutes left in the period, Lucas Raymond drew his third penalty of the game. This time, a hooking call on Matthias Eklund. The Red Wings managed just three shots during the two-minute power play. Shortly after the Oilers were back to even strength, Zach Hyman got on the board. Sherrod tries to clear the puck but it's kept in by Bouchard. Bouchard sends the puck to the end boards, and Gerard regains possession. He tries to pass it around the net to Comp, but it goes right to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl takes a wrist shot that goes off the stick of Fisher and into the pads of Lyon. Hyman gets the rebound, scores. Zach Hyman gets the Oilers a three-goal lead. Since arriving in Edmonton, Zach Hyman has continued to set career highs in goals each season. Last year, he scored 36 times in 79 games. This season, he already has 32 in 48 games. Less than a minute after the Hyman goal, Evander Kane scored another goal for the Oilers. DeArnay in the neutral zone. Gives it to McDavid and heads into the Detroit zone. McDavid with the spinorama to avoid Cider. Falling down, McDavid gets a centering pass off to Kane. Scores. Despite being down four goals, the Red Wings weren't giving up. David Perron put one in the back of the net with just under five minutes to go in regulation. Cece with the puck at the Oilers end boards. Over to McLeod in the corner. Pass intended for Kanye but intercepted by Comper. To Fisher. Fisher sends the puck to Sherrod, then goes for a change. Sherrod at the point, passes down to Perron. Perron, with the tip in, scores. That was David Perron's. 11th goal of the season. While Christian Fisher was instrumental in the play, recording a secondary assist, his plus minus did not change because he left the ice. Instead, his replacement, Patrick Kane, was the beneficiary. The score was
was 7 to 4, with Connor McDavid totaling 5 assists. He got his sixth on the second goal scored by Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins at the point. Pass intended for Gulak. Goes off the skate of Costin. And Nugent Hopkins regains possession. Passes to McDavid. McDavid towards the net. Cuts through the slot. Costin Bear gets a stick on it. But McDavid maintains possession. The pass to Nugent Hopkins, besides the net, scores. The Edmonton Oilers beat the Detroit Red Wings with a final score of 8 to 4. Shots were 38 to 36 in favor of the Red Wings. The Oilers ended with a face-off win percentage of 61. The Oilers had six penalty minutes to the Red Wings, zero. The Oilers had more hits, 29 to 23, and the blocks were even at 13. Thank you for joining me 